Right, so I'd just like to take a moment to talk about QuickSafe Maps uh, version 0 0.5 and how it differs from 0 0.4. Um, for you who have used 0 0.4, there's quite a lot of difference, but the idea, the essential idea of the tool remained the same, which is to save your maps fast. So over here in my document, I have another example document. I got a normal color specular and a gloss map configured. And uh, again, if you wanted to make changes to your maps, it still is as easy as just you know painting your maps, then hitting F2, and your um, the changes will just happen immediately. However, at the back end, we have a quite a few additions. Right, so don't be frightened off by that humongous uh, dialogue. <laughs> if you break it down, it's actually quite overviewable. Uh, the most important parts are those uh, uh, headings written in bold font over here. So that's a color, the normal and the specular map that I've configured. You will, however, see that I do not have a gloss map configured, as I have it set up here. This is because I want to save the gloss map into the alpha channel of my specular map. Um, this is I'm doing this right here. So we have, we have my specular map uh, panel. I say I want to use the TGA file format which supports alpha. I say I want to use the alpha channel and furthermore I want to use the layer set as the alpha channel. And over here I just type gloss to associate this layer set as the alpha channel of my specular map. So apart from that, there are quite a few different additions as well. For those of you who are familiar with 0 0.4, there's not much change with the layer name, convention, base name and scale. Except for the scale you have a few presets, uh, but you can also, of course, you know, enter your own, your custom values. The resampling that takes place when you're scaling is configured in the common options over here in the defaults panel, just in the upper right here. At the moment it is on the cubic best Postmos gradients, which is the Photoshop default. However, you can change it to uh, any other settings that you would like. Then, coming back to the uh, format, at the moment, I have uh, set it to default, which also refers to the common options format configured over here. However, I could overwrite this and say I want my color map to be a PNG, and I also want to say, the, for example, I want to have 8-bit PNG or 24-bit PNG, or if I switch to JPEG, I could adjust the quality. So I could say I uh, only want like half quality or whatever. Um, set to default, close. Then I have a few <coughs> from this conversion field, I have a few preset conversions such as uh, converting the RGB document to grayscale or to invert the normals if I was working on a normal map. However, this list is pretty much unlimited as soon as you go into pre-processing. Uh, maybe, maybe just quickly skip to that. So you get your pre and post processing button over here. If you open this up, you get a whole new dialog. It is divided into pre-processing at the top and post-processing at the bottom. At the top, if I was to enable the pre-processing actions, I can choose from an action set. At the moment I have two action sets set up, the um, default actions action set and my quick save maps action set. If I choose... Mm, I could choose quadrant colors from the default actions and add this action to my uh, pre-processing pre list. So this action will be run on the document just before the document is being saved. Um, since we're here, might as well talk about the post-processing droplet. So you can uh, run a executable file after the map has been saved. And on top of that, you can also send custom arguments down to that file. You have a whole list of preset tokens, such as maybe the pass, the pass without the file name, the file name only, the file name without extension. Yes, so you have a, a pretty long list of presets to choose from. So you say add token, and it will add this token to your list. You could as, of course um, type any custom message, you know, up, up, why not? Then we'll just disable this for now since we don't have a droplet, and accept the changes. So if I was to save my color map now, I should get. I should get something looking like it has been pre-processed with uh, quadrant colors. Let's have a look. 
over here in my logging editor, which is also a new feature in 0 0.5. I get quick access to the files that I've been saving. So we can see over here my color channel, saved as tire underscore c.jpg, looks like this. Alright, so this gives you a nice quick access to what you've been saving. And the, the weird looks come from the quadrant colors action. So it's really just to prove a point. Uh, you could, of course, run more useful actions such as a sharpen filter or maybe blur filter or like virtually everything, anything. So I close this down. Um, since we're here, might as well uh, quickly cut on that. So we have uh, the open folder button, which brings you to your operating system uh, folder explorer thing. Quick access is um, a nice thing as well. Then open map will open this uh, texture map in Photoshop if you want to have more control instead of just like an external image view. Then you can clear your log. Of course. And that pretty much sums it up. There are further more advanced options such as uh, associating your configurations file with the PSD file. That is this nice button down here. So over here you can see I have not configured anything. But if I wanted to configure anything, I could just start making my maps. You know, oh now I have a color map, as you can see here. Or I could go ahead and import like a from the normal configurations and make variations of that. Could do that as well. So now here is my those are my defaults. My, from my configuration file, now I can make PSD specific changes and save those changes with the PSD file. So I'm just gonna not save that. And that pretty much sums it up. It, um, in a nutshell, again, just saves your map faster, keeps you, you know, reduces headache, reduces more stupid button pushing. I just really, you know, hit a button, get the thing updated, and at the same time not um, cutting down on customization. Alright, so uh, I hope you like this tool, and uh, thank you for watching.